Okay, what we've got here is another typical question, GCSE exam question involving a trace table. This one is relatively simple. Um, what helps is I've got the, on my question, I've got the algorithm there, the subroutine there, on the same page as where I'm actually writing the value, so I don't have to keep turning the page. That makes it a little bit easier. Let's just have a look at this for a moment. What have I got here? Right, it's a subroutine, okay? That's standard pseudocode, really. Subroutine total out. That's the name of it. And what I've got here are the values that's being passed into it. That's Those are the parameters. And then I've got my return. So this would indicate that this is a function. It doesn't actually matter for this question, but just to point that out. These three things here, its name, the parameters being passed in, and the return are something called its interface. And what this would do is work on its own. It would only run when the main program calls total out and passes the values. The values here, total out 3, 4, these are something called the arguments that are passed into the subroutine here, okay? Um, that isn't part of the question to do that, but that's just pointing out what that is, just to add, just to add some context to it. So what I'm asked to do is complete the trace table when the subroutine called total out 3, 4 is made. You may not need to use all the rows of the table. We're not going to use all the rows of the table. Okay. Right. So start with, okay, what have I got? Let's put in A and B first. So that's going to be 3 and 4. Um, C equals A plus B. So I need to add those together. C is equal to that plus that. 3 plus 4 is 7. And then I go into this while loop here. Well, A is less than C. So it is currently a equals a plus 1. So just simply add, a, add 1 to that. That's now 4. b equals b minus a. Okay. So 4, take away 4, is 0. c, you'll notice, is not going to change. That is something called a constant. So that isn't going to change. Okay. That is a constant. Right. Well, a is less than c. Yes, it still is. a equals a minus 1. Okay. Sorry, plus 1. So that's 5. Add 1 to that. b equals b minus a. Okay, so now I'm going to go into... That's going to be negative 5. So 0 take away 5 gives me negative 5. Okay, that's fine. That's what it does. That, that is absolutely correct. Well, a is less than c. Yes, still is. A equals A plus 1, that's now 6. OK. B equals B minus A, so that's going to be negative 11 now. While A is less than Z, yes, it still is. 6 is less than 7, so I need to do this last line. It's now 7. A equals A plus 1, it's now 7. B equals B minus A, so that is now negative 18. So taking off 7 from that, it's now negative 18. OK, well, A is less than C, that no, no longer is true, it, it's the same, so I need to stop. And then it would return B, but we're not worried about that in here, OK? It would return negative 18, that's the value that would be returned to the main program. And that is a trace table.